Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the newest pop-up sentiments to go on the inside of our cards. We have the pop-up thanks as well as the pop-up be merry. These of course coordinate with Oliver's ABCs just like all of the other pop-up sentiment dies. So you can cut your letters out of a paper, a pattern paper or colored paper and layer them on top of the pop-up letters that the die creates. For my first project, I'm gonna be using the Be Merry pop-up and I'm gonna cut it from some pattern paper from the Let It Shine 12 by 12 collection. I'm gonna be cutting my letters out of some scraps of red paper from the Snow Day Remix collection. I just like the red, but it also has that little bit of texture with the snowflakes. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out that Be Merry using the die. And then I'm gonna carefully fold along the score lines that the die creates. So you just wanna kind of work these score lines very carefully in the direction that they need to go. So I'm just working my way around back and forth, folding the valleys and the hills, valleys at the bottom of the letters, hills at the tops to kind of create the folds as you can see here. But I'm just being very careful to work my way around and not fold everything at once. You just kind of want to work the paper and then go back and crease it a little bit more. And you can see how it's going to start to take shape as I'm working it here. And then I can eventually fold it all the way over on itself and reinforce those folds with a bone folder. So now I'm just gonna fold it all the way over flat as it would be inside the card. Now that I've got all those folds kind of worked out and I can incre um, increase those folds a little better with that bone folder and make them nice and crisp. So I've also gone and cut out all the letters that I need out of that pattern paper that I had earlier. And then I'm also gonna cut them out of white. And the reason why I did this is because I want to create this effect of either snow on the tops of all the letters or icing because I'm putting this inside of a card that has the little mice baking on the front. So it could be icing, it could be snow, but it created this really fun effect. So I just cut each one out of white and then I'm just gonna take my scissors to cut the tops. And as I go, I'm gonna just lay them on the letter where they belong and that way I don't get mixed up and they don't get lost. So you can see how I'm starting to create this little snow drift or icing drips on top of my letters. So now that I've got all those cut out, I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid glue and adhere them to the tops of each of the letters. So now that I have those all ready to go, I can add them to the pop-up that I created earlier. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue to all the letters, and I'm just gonna line those up, and you can see how they fit perfectly on those letters that the die creates. So now that I have everything ready to go, I've added some double-sided tape to both sides of this pop-up die. I'm going to pull off the liner paper just from the bottom side. I'm not going to do them both just yet. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to line it up inside of my card that I have here. So I'm using a card I already had made and I'm just going to line up the bottom right in that crease. And I'm making sure that bottom is stuck down. 
And then what I can do is I can peel off the paper from the other pieces that are on the top. I'm gonna have it folded down just like you see here. And then I can just close the card and pick up that adhesive with the top side of the card. And this way I know that it is perfectly placed so that it will close. And then I wanted to add a little bit of glitter to these to sort of match what was on the front. So I'm just adding a little bit of stickles to that white snowy or icing part that I added to the letters. And I just think this is such a fun effect with that white. So for my second card, I'm using some Into the Woods paper to create a fall themed card for my pop-up thanks. And I'll be cutting that pop-up thanks from that brown wood grain paper. And then I cut the letters from the stripe, which I think is going to have a really cool look on that brown. So I'm gonna do as I did before and just work the creases of the die. So you wanna create valley folds at the bottom of the letters and mountain folds at the top. And I'm just going back and forth and carefully folding along those edges. Just working the paper, loosening it up on those score lines. And then once I have them nice and creased, I can fold it closed and take my bone folder and make sure they're all nice and crisp. And then now I'm going to add my letters. So I've just added some liquid glue to all the letters and I'm just going to go through and place them all in place, lining up the bottoms with that crease of the fold. and then they fit perfectly on that die cut. And I just love the look of these diagonal pattern stripe letters on this dark brown. I just think it's very fun. So now to work on the inside of my card, I've cut a piece of this birch tree paper and I've cut it an inch shorter. So it's three and a quarter instead of four and a quarter. And the reason why is so that you don't see it behind my pop-up die. So if I had cut this the full size, you can see how it kind of takes away from that thanks. It doesn't stand out as much. So by holding it short of showing behind that pop-up die cut, it really stands out against the brown a lot better than it does against those birch trees. So I'm just going to layer it along the top of the inside of the card. And then I can do as I did before. I've put some double-sided tape on this pop-up. I'm going to peel off the liner paper for the bottom of it. And then I'm just going to line it up inside my card. So I'm going to use that fold as a guide. Line it up in the fold of the card and stick the bottom down. And then now that the bottom is stuck, I can take that liner paper off the top part and then I'll just close my card and pick up that adhesive. And it'll be perfectly placed for the card to close. So for this card, I'm going to decorate it using the Into the Woods stamp set. This is an oldie but a goodie. I really love this stamp set. I love that there's some solid images in it that we can stamp out. So we have this log here that I'm gonna stamp in some dough ink. There's also some solid clouds in this stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp those out in some kitty pool ink. So we're gonna have this light blue cloud. There's also some fun speech bubbles. This one I'm stamping out in fake tan and it says hello. This is going to go on the outside of my card. 
And then I'm also going to stamp out the little solid leaves in this set with some celery stick ink. For the little deer that's going to go on the front, I'm going to stamp him on some craft card stock. And this way he's already colored and I don't have to color him. In the same way, I'm going to do the fox. I'm stamping him on some orange pattern paper and I'll also stamp him on white to cut out the details of his tail and his face. So this particular die set doesn't actually have a die for the log so I'm just fussy cutting that out to look like it has a die with that white edge around it so it's going to match all the other pieces. Now here's the little fox that I cut or I stamped in white and I'm just fussy cutting the end of his tail and then I'll also cut out the part of his face that should be white. And so I'm just going to layer these on top of the patterned paper fox that you see there. This is just a fun and different way to color your images without using normal coloring techniques with markers or pencils. It's a fun way to use up your patterned paper and get a different look. So when you stamp these animals on that colored paper, they're already colored for you. I also like to do this by white embossing. If it's on a darker colored paper or cardstock, that's also a fun way to kind of pre-color your images using the color of the paper that you're using. So I also wanted to go in and make his little nose and eyes stand out a little bit more because I stamped him in brown ink. So I'm just going in with a black pen and tracing over the eyes and the nose. So I'm going to add some pieces to the inside and sort of decorate like this little scene is sitting on top of my thanks that pops out. So I've got the little log and he's going to sit on there. I'm going to use those little leaves to decorate the log. And then I'll just add the two little clouds as well. So this just kind of fills it in a little bit more. Even though we have that lovely birch tree background, I still like the kind of triangle of elements that we've created here with the fox and the clouds. So now to work on the front of the card, I've cut a piece of that stripe pattern paper. It's about an inch and a quarter wide and it's five and a half inches long. And I'm just going to put it across the center of the front of this card, sort of like a band wrapping around the front of the card. And this card base is cut from some paper bag cardstock. I've also used a stitched square and I've cut the patterned paper from the petite paper pack that has the little clouds. I've added some foam tape to the back of it and I'm just gonna center that up in the middle of this card. I've cut another piece of cilantro cardstock with that same stitch square and I'm going to cut the top of it with this grassy hillside and this is going to be the ground for my little deer to stand on. So I'm just going to add that to the bottom of the square and you get that nice stitching detail along the bottom of the grass too when you use the die. Before I add my deer, I thought I'd add a little pink to his ear just so he's not so flat. And then I'm going to add the deer standing on the grass and then also that little hello speech bubble at the top. And then to finish it off, I thought it needed just a little bit more. So there is a solid heart as well as an outlined heart in this stamp set. So I'm just using some walnut ink and stamping a few of those around. And it just adds a little bit more interest to that background and makes it not look quite so flat. And here's that finished card with that cute little deer on the front. And then you open it up to that pop-up thanks on the inside, which I just think is so adorable. 
So now let's take a look at some examples from the design team. Tammy created this super cute Christmas card with Santa and his reindeer on the front. And then you open it up to see them inside as well with Mrs. Claus. And I just love that Be Merry cut from that striped patterned paper. Grace's super cute stitched mug shaker card opens up to reveal that pop-up thanks on the inside and I love how she pulled in the browns that she used on the front to the sentiment and the die cut on the inside. Lynette's card is super fun with those cute little mugs and all the different pattern papers that she used for her letters. I just think that's so much fun. Audrey used different colors for her letters as well, and I love how they tie in with all those colorful snowflakes on the inside. Elena's card is super cute with that sleepy little bear and the mountain scene on the front. And then I love on the inside how she also used him asleep with that pop-up be merry and that striped background with those green letters just really catch the eye i love how rebecca has shown that you don't have to also cut the letters that you can use the pop-up just by itself by using contrasting colors kara's card with the little mice on the front baking is super cute and i love how she continued the scene to the inside with that be merry by stacking all the cakes and goodies on top of all those letters of the sentiment it's just adorable Elisa's card is so cute with those critters having a yummy meal sitting on top of that pop-up things. I love the birch trees in the background with the pattern paper leaves and also the grass detail that she created on the bottom. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye!